Vancouver's rapid growth and soaring housing prices have many people being displaced from neighborhoods where they've lived for years. But a nonprofit is helping create entrepreneurs in underserved communities. And those entrepreneurs are using their new skills to help people stay in their homes. Our Andrea Flores live on that story. And Andrea, a graduation ceremony about to start, huh? That's right. They're in the setup phases right now. And today, seven entrepreneurs are going to graduate from the program. And after they walk out of here tonight, they'll be able to apply for a business loan of up to $2,500. Now, I spoke with one small business owner who says the boot camp has been more about just learning how to make money. She says it's about bottling up her business skills in the form of salsa. Sizzling jalapenos, the timing of the turn. This one is cooking already, but this one is not cooking. Mujeres Emprendedoras Cooperative says the perfect salsa takes patience. Four female entrepreneurs started the Denver Co-op to combat displacement in their largely Latino Westwood neighborhood by providing a way for women to contribute to their household. <laughs> Matilde Garcia is one of the owners. We do catering, jewelry, the salsas. The co-op started with catering, but their salsa's popularity quickly caught on. The people started to ask, how we can buy this salsa? We never see this kind of salsa. She joined nonprofit Rocky Mountain Mike Microfinance Institute's 12 week business boot camp to take their salsa distribution to the next level. We provide coaching, mentorship, classes, technical assistance. Our overall goal is to increase economic mobility and social inclusion in the Denver metro area by finding these entrepreneurs. Uh, that have that spark, that have the drive, that have a good business idea, but they lack the resources to turn that into a reality on their own. Give that special flavor then. Mary Kate Moore, Matilde's mentor, says her biggest strength is a blend of leadership and entrepreneurial spark. She is driven, she is hardworking. Matilde is now blending, bottling, and selling her salsa at the Westwood Food Co-op. For her, it's very much about sharing that knowledge and that wealth with her community, which is really inspiring. And Matilde has big plans for her business. She hopes to start selling her salsa at local grocery stores, also local farmers markets. In addition to what she has learned in the boot camp, she says she wants to start her own YouTube channel and take the lessons that she has learned through this boot camp and teach other people across the world. Of course, wants to show people her recipes as well. Reporting live in Denver, I'm Andrea Flores covering Colorado First. Big plans. Thank you, Andrea. Well, it seems like